What's up and welcome back. Today we're going for a ride on a 1975 Pontiac Trans Am. This one here has a 400 under the hood. It's got the power steering set up. We're gonna be taking it down the road, point out any kind of flaws so you know what you're getting before you come to get it. We do that with every car on the car lot. Check us out at maplemotors.com. Also have shipping and financing available for you. So be sure to go over and check that out. Dual exhaust out the back on this one. Interior is pretty clean. Be sure to hit subscribe, also share and uh, like this video. That helps me out quite a bit. You can check our social medias out too. We got a new TikTok under Maple Motors. We have an Instagram and a Facebook you can follow. For now, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. The buzzer works. This one does do that every once in a while. You'll go to turn it and it'll click for a second. And the second time around usually starts it right up. I've noticed that, but it's always started for me every time. So gas gauge is on the east side. We're gonna go and get some fuel. Battery's charging on this one, showing 97,000 miles on the dash. We'll be checking that speedo out. The oil gauge is bouncing around. Seem like it's working and should be on the low side is what it's showing 40 high side showing 60 water temperature is up the gauge is working our clock unfortunately does not work anymore the attack is coming up the wipers whoa they're fast face to the radio is inside the office blower motor anything i know there's no ac and the blower motor does work but it doesn't work on high it only works on the setting right below it Good deal. Checking out the interior a little bit more before we take off. Package tray looks pretty good. Nice set of speakers back there. Headliner's in good shape. Missing the cover on the light. The light's not working anyways. And let's hit the road and see how she runs and drives. Oh yeah. Can't forget, did you place your bets on the horn? because this one works. Let's take off. All right, getting ready to take off down the road. The seat belt's all on my neck here. It does need the little thing to go on the uh, seat to keep it off your neck. For now, put it under my arm. <laughs> all right, so let's take off down the road here. Anything that I see, I will let you know. That's why I do these videos. power taking off we're going straight as an arrow down the road the steering is nice and tight she's definitely geared low she's got plenty of power brakes brakes are decent not feel bad at all That kick down passing gear is hooked up. I'm 100% stopping at the gas station. This thing's almost on E. That's rattling noise. Turn signals. I can hear them, but the bulbs are out on the dash. The rattling noise is actually the cigarette lighter there. Almost got it to stop. Suspension feels pretty good going over that curve there. Not too bad. So I'm gonna pull in here. Oh no, it's this plate. That's rattling. So I'm gonna throw about $20 worth of fuel in this ride. 
we'll keep the test drive going and uh, get you some undercarriage shots and also do a walk around. I'm starting to blend the two videos together. Just kind of give you a better aspect. That way people don't have to search around and find them. Uh, let me know what you think. If you just don't like it at all, you'd rather have two videos, go ahead and put it in the description. I'll try to put the separate part at the end of each video now. That way you can just go to the end if you want to see the walk around. It's there available for you. All right, let's get some fuel. Got $20 worth of fuel in this ride. We're gonna check that gas gauge out. I do believe it works, but we'll double check it. You put the fuel behind the tag on these. Put that in there. Looks like it may have some air shocks on it. Buzz, buzz. All right, so, now the gas gauge is already reading full, but let's see coming back down give her a little gas yeah gas gauge came up it was on E and now it's sitting there about half the tank so let's keep rolling Okay, been rolling around the parking lot in this one. We're gonna head on back. Don't mind getting that and gluing that up. It's that little piece right there. Kinda gotta hold it for you so you can listen. Engine temperature's good, about 200. So far so good on this one. Steering's nice and tight, brakes feel good. This car's very responsive. Shifting smooth. 
suspension's pretty smooth too. a little Mustang action. Goosed it with me at first, but he didn't want to do nothing. <laughs> hey, you got to have a little fun, don't you? Ooh, the tire's rubbing up here in the front with a hard turn. It may be a little big. Since I went through Brian's Motorsports down here, we're gonna drive through his parking lot, see what he's got going on. I bet you he's got some classics sitting up here today. That's a complete guess. I didn't even look over there. But I know he's always working on different stuff. Um, he works on everything from classic cars to rice burners to uh, lifted trucks. And he does everything when it comes to working on these. He's been going to all the big shows, all the big car shows. And he's worth checking out. So if you buy a car from us, you can get wheels and tires, stereo systems, interiors done, uh, suspension. I mean, pretty much everything. He's got you covered. All right. Get you off my head. Kind of look around here. He's got the little Debbie Express here. He's been tricking out. He's got a diesel motor in that thing. Uh, I think it was a Cummins he installed. Working on these trucks over here, putting wheels, tires, lifts. Hey, I told you there was a classic sitting down here. I've seen a lot of motorcycles sitting down here lately, too. That truck looks pretty good. He sells those wheels as well. Good deal. Let's head on back to the car lot. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit subscribe. We post content daily. Thanks again for watching, guys. Later. I got her all open for you. We're going to walk around, point out any kind of chips, scratches, rust, any issues I could find. Also have detailed pictures. Be sure to go over to maplemotors.com and look at those. And again, I have financing and shipping available for you. I went and opened everything up. That way I'm not fumbling around making the video too hard. We're just gonna be looking for any kind of issues that you wanna know about, especially before you get here. Let's start with the trunk. So I opened the trunk up. Uh, I noticed the springs are not holding it up by itself. Somebody used like an old ax or something. I prefer a, I'm gonna have a prop, a Louisville slugger, you know, that baseball bat in the trunk. <laughs> Checking it out. This has a couple little cracks in the paint. Little spot there. Looks like some little rust underneath there. You got some chips in the trunk. The weather stripping looks pretty good. The trunk itself looks pretty good. Checking the package tray out. Solid. We'll go ahead and set our axe handle down. <laughs> hey, if it breaks, I guess that was about the perfect prop. 
coming around the back end. You can see it does have some little cracks in the paint. Up in here by the gas cap, a few little chips. Looking around the back. Okay, I'm gonna go down the lower portions first. We'll come back mid midsection and hit the top. A little thick on the paint there in the corner. You can see it's kind of running there on that back bumper. Chips from the road. Looks like they, somebody went over and uh, that's coming right off though. When they put the yellow line down, I could see it on the side of the car. There's a chip here coming up over. There's also a chip there. Right here in the middle, it looks like you got some bubbles popping up. A little rust or a chemical reaction. Could be rust up under there. Coming down this lower portion. Getting some more of the little bubbles. On the bottom of the door as well. Up in the corner here. If it's all over the car like that, I'm gonna say it's probably gonna be partial chemical peel, which is when they lay the paint, there may be on some kind of um, silicone or some kind of oil in the air. And it came down on the paint and it causes these bubbles. And then in the other circumstance, it'd be rust, so. There's a chip right there in the front. Uh, notice the clear coat on this one. It's got some bubbles in the clear coat for sure. Showing its age. See it on top there and lots of bubbles in the clear coat. Chip right here in the corner. Chip down in the vent there. Got a couple of chips in the middle of the door. A little crack here. The wing back here, uh, clear coat's coming off. Also have a paint chip there. Paint job is not the greatest on this one. See the clear coat bubbling up back here as well. They got the vents around the back window. Look pretty good. Weather stripping looks good around the driver's window there. You can see the little rubber that comes up and holds the window on the track. It's dry rotted. Roof looks great on this one. Nice and sleek. The clear coat's good up there. Coming down the pillar. Little chrome trims trying to come off there. Push your back up on there. There we go. Get over that front windshield. It's in good shape. I'm not seeing any chips or scratches or cracks. The hood on this one's got the clear coat bubbling up on it as well and we'll be laying that down here in a moment checking that out some more let's go around the front of this car hanging a little bit there headlight bezels are older they still look pretty good chips up in here on the nose emblem and of course under the hoods nice and clean
Coming down this side of the car, lower portion first. You can see there's some cracks. Down this little portion here, you got some chips and stuff popping up on the paint. There's a chip there. Uh, a little dent here, real small, but it's there. I think it's the only dent I've actually found on the car. Back to mid section. Door handle's got a uh, spot in it. Chip, 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 chip. It's almost enough chips to eat fish with. <laughs> dad, dad jokes, right? I don't know. I don't know, man. Bubbles popping up on top of the paint job there. That is the clear coat coming up, just like it is all over the front of the car here. got some more chips up here in the corner where the hood comes down mirror clear coat weather stripping looks good it's cracked right here a little bit of a bubble behind it too Uh, clear coat is bubbling on this side, not the driver's side. Right by the antenna, there's a few bubbles popping up too. This one's about ready for a new paint job, I'd say. Let's jump on the interior, check it out, get her started up. Buzzer works. Let's start her up. It was doing that clicking. Give her a little gas. I just punched the ceiling, Nick. Oh, the ceiling's got a little bit of waves going on in it. Warped from that headliner. Check out that package tray. Whoa, almost dropped you. That would have been good. Nice little crack right there. This is a cover anyways. You can buy these covers to go over your dash. I guarantee the dash underneath is probably messed up. You see the cover's warped up there. You're supposed to glue these down almost like somebody just slid it on there they may have put some double-sided tape on like the front here or something if you do it right though it won't come out like that oh horn all the gauges are working she's staying nice and cool Checking out your jams. Got some big chips in him here in the corner. Some cracking going on in the bottom corner of the door. Looks like this has been worked on. It's too perfect there in the corner other than the crack. Oh, air cleaner. Spun on me. Keep her straight. Motor's nice and quiet. Edge of the hood's got some chips and stuff.
coming down with the hood it's very easy to shut just barely pushing down on it she locked up you can see the clear coat peeling in spots little blotches everywhere All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. Be sure to check out maplemotors.com. Also have financing, shipping available for you. And if you hit subscribe, you can see daily content, or at least I try to post uh, daily. I usually been getting these videos out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then working on the following week, the rest of the week, just kind of push out four to eight videos a day at the beginning of the week now. That way you get this content as fast as possible. I do appreciate you watching. I want to thank you for hitting like and sharing. We'll see you in the next video. Later, guys.